There are several methods for attempting to factor a prime, or excuse me, obtain the prime factors of a number. Um, one of which is the Fermat algorithm. The idea of this algorithm is if we want to factor a number n, which is equal to x times y. So, like if you had RSA and you have um, p and q prime factors. However, this only works when x and y are close. The farther apart they are, the longer it takes. So we want to try to find n equals x squared minus y squared. Um, and this is equal to x plus y times x minus y, which we can solve from here to here to get x squared equals n plus y squared. For example, if we want to factor n equals 187, we want to find where x equals n plus y squared. All I did was take the square root of both sides of this here. We want to try different y values from 1 up. So we just start with 1 and work our way up. When x turns out to be an integer, we have found a y value that works. So we have x equals 187n plus y squared. So we take the square root of that and we find that it is not an integer. Whatever it is doesn't matter, it's not an integer. So we try the next y, y equals 2. Take the square root of 187 plus 2 squared, which is also not an integer. But when we use 3 as our y, we get 14, an integer. So therefore, 14 squared equals 187 plus 3 squared. All I did was take this and square both sides. Now if we compare that to what we had initially, that x equals n plus y squared, we can see that x equals 14 and y equals 3. Now if we recall that n could be factored as x plus y times x minus y, we plug in those numbers, so we have 14 plus 3 times 14 minus 3, and we obtain n equals 17 times 11. Hence we have found the prime factors of 187. So 187 equals 11 times 17.